Hello and welcome to this video about magnetic field and field lines. So I have two magnets. They're labeled with a north end and a south end each. And magnets have a force on each other. So if I take this magnet and I put the north end close to the north end of the other magnet, it pushes it away or repels it. And if I do the same thing with the south and the south end, It also repels it. If I place the north and the south ends close together, they attract. Same thing on this side. So magnets have a force on each other at a distance. Additionally, some substances can be affected by magnets as well. These are iron fillings, little pieces of iron. And if I take this magnet and through the glass, move it around, can see that the fillings are attracted and affected by this magnet. So we see that there's something there, there's something about magnets that can apply force at a distance. And we call this the magnetic field. It refers to the capacity of a magnet to affect things um, that it is not touching. And magnets do this in a certain pattern and orientation called a magnetic field. So to demonstrate um, the magnetic field of this magnet, I'm going to place it underneath here. I'm going to put this on top. So the magnet is going to be underneath, but still affecting what's on the paper. And I'm going to take these iron fillings again and I'm going to pour them on top of this and they will be affected by the magnet underneath and they will align themselves in the direction of what we call the magnetic field. So as you can see here, they're attracted to this, the poles on this magnet and they form little lines going outward. You can see lines here as well as they go around the magnet. So this demonstrates uh, the shape, the general shape of a magnetic field. And if I take another paper, with the lines that were just represented by the iron filings on the last paper, we have a representation drawn of this magnetic field. So I'm going to pour more iron fillings on this. And we can watch how it aligns itself again, kind of on top of these lines. As you can see, it kind of goes out and around as these lines come out and around. So the shape of magnetic fields are closed circular loops that go through the magnet, out and around and back through. So there, it's a closed loop that never is interrupted and they never intersect each other. And you can see this by the iron filings aligning themselves with this orientation going out and around. So, put these back. Magnetic fields aren't just a line, they are a vector, so they have a direction. And we've defined um, north poles and south poles on magnets, and so we define magnetic field as emanating from the north pole and going into the south pole. So there's a direction, one continual vector of loop. And it goes from the North Pole into the South Pole. So I could continue to draw this on the other side here, going out of the North Pole into the South Pole, one closed circular loop. Another thing about magnetic fields and field lines is that at any given point on this magnetic field, the magnetic field will be tangent 
to the field line. So since it's curved, at any point, such as this point, the magnetic field will be represented by a tangent, an arrow tangent to this field line, and that would be the magnetic field. Or here, this is tangent to the field line, and that would represent the magnetic field. And if I place a compass along this line, it orients itself straight with that line. So you see the north and south ends are straight parallel with this line that I've just drawn tangent to the magnetic field. And if I move it, it'll switch its orientation as I move throughout the magnetic field. So that demonstrates the, the shape and the behavior of magnetic fields. Uh, magnetic fields are the, mag the strength of the magnetic field is represented by the closeness or proximity of the lines. So if I draw more lines closer together, that means it's a stronger magnetic field. If there's fewer lines, then that means it's not as strong of a magnetic field. So I'm going to do one last demonstration and show what happens when iron fillings are placed with two magnets. Actually, I'll start with south end close to south end. So they're repelling each other underneath here. We're going to see what happens when we pour iron fillings on this. So you can see the magnetic field forms of these two magnets going out and around. But there's no continuance here. You can see the magnetic fields repel each other. It's going out from the north into the south here, out from the north into the south here, and these magnetic fields are repelling each other, and there's no iron fillings going from one end to the other. So you can see how there's repelling between the two magnets because there's no connection here. If I switch it so that the north and south ends are facing each other, and there's an attraction, we'll see that the fields form, that there's a connection, and they actually attract through the paper because the iron fillings are pulling them together. And there is a continuance here between the two magnets, so the field lines go together, and the north end here goes into the south end here. And you can see the iron fillings aligning, going straight, and there's no break. So for a quick recap on this video, magnets apply force at a distance as seen with the iron filings and the magnets in contact with each other. And we saw that like poles repel and opposite poles attract, so north pole was repelled from North Pole, but attracted to the South Pole. Magnets apply force in a closed loop pattern, um, and these loops emanate from the North Pole and go to the South Pole, and we call this the magnetic field. The lines that represent this magnetic field and the pattern that it is in are called magnetic field lines, and the magnetic field is always tangent to the field line at any given point, and the density of field lines represents the strength of the magnetic field, so the more dense the field lines are, the stronger the magnetic field is. One piece of information I forgot to mention in the video, but that is notable, is that magnetic field and magnetic forces, magnetism is caused by the movement of electrons, or electric current. So when electricity flows, it creates magnetic field.